Question: How long does it take him to warm up before he starts working out? How long does it take him? How long does it take me? How long does it take her? How long does it take you? Cuánto se tarda? Cuánto tardas? Cuánto tardo? Y a él cuánto tarda él? How long does it take him to warm up? The precalentamiento previo a la hacer gimnasia, de hacer ejercicios en el gimnasio. How long does it take him to warm? Warm is calentar. Hacer más cálido. How long does it take him to warm up? Fijaos como uso la M. Warm up. Mop. La mopa. Warm up. How long does it take him to warm up before he starts working out? To work out is hacer ejercicios físicos para, para estar mejor físicamente. How long does it to work out? You should work out every week, preferably every day to work out. How long does it take me? How long does it take him to warm up? before he starts working out. How long does it take him? Hola, bienvenidos a la clase número 154. Y hoy tenemos la frase How long does it take him to warm up before he starts working out? Es decir, ¿cuánto tarda él en calentar antes de hacer ejercicio? Vamos con la primera parte. How long does it take him? Es decir, ¿cuánto tarda él? Y aquí estamos otra vez con la estructura de it takes con el interrogativo, pero ahora específicamente la tercera persona del singular. Him, o podría ser me, o podría ser you también. How long does it take you? How long does it take me? Ahora, cuidado que no decimos how long it takes him en interrogativo. Y tampoco decimos how long does it takes him cuando hablamos de la tercera persona. Muy bien, vamos con algunos ejemplos. How long does it take her to get dressed? ¿Cuánto tarda ella en vestirse? How long does it take him to answer? Muy bien, nos vemos en un minuto. How long does it take him to make a coffee? Frank, the security guard, offered to make me a coffee, like, 20 minutes ago. I mean, how long does it take someone to make a simple coffee? It takes me five minutes to make a coffee. ¿Cuánto tardas tú en hacer un café? How long does it take you to make a coffee? Well, it takes me five minutes to make a coffee. I'm so thirsty. How long does it take him to get some water and some coffee and put them in a cup? Ah, a lo mejor se ha ido a comprarme uno. Yeah. But in that case, how long does it take him to go to the shop? It's like five minutes away. This is the last time I'm going to ask anyone to do anything for me. Frank, how long does it take you to make a cup of coffee? Oh, and bring me some cake as well, please. How long did it take someone to make a simple cup of coffee? It's quite a lazy person, to be honest. This is the last time I'm going to ask anyone to make me a coffee. <coughs> Bien, vamos con la segunda parte de la frase de hoy, que es to warm up, calentar. Y es que to warm up es un phrasal verb, un verbo compuesto, que se usa cuando queremos calentar los músculos o también cuando queremos calentar la comida. Pero en este caso, al referirse a los músculos, no separamos warm y up, sino que se queda junto. Ahora, cuidado con la pronunciación de warm, que no es warm, sino warm, warm, con la cara bien larga, warm, y con el up enlazamos, to warm up para que quede mucho más natural. Vamos a ver unos ejemplos. You need to warm up before your workout. Necesitas calentar antes de hacer tu tabla de ejercicios. Y aquí tenemos la palabra del día, workout, una tabla de ejercicios. Did you warm up before going for a run? ¿Calentaste antes de ir a correr? Y por último, warming up is important. That's how you avoid getting an injury. Muy bien hecho. Nos vemos en un minuto. Oh, hey, look, I've just arrived here and I'm getting warmed up. 
You know, before I start painting, before you do anything, it's important to warm up. Calentar. That's right, to warm up. That's it. Warm. Not worn. Warm. Warm. Warm up. You have to warm up. You have to warm up before you play sports. You have to warm up before you paint. Warm up before you do anything. It's very important to warm up. I'm warming up my body, but that's not all. I even warm up my paint brushes. That's right, I get the brushes ready for a long day of painting. I even warm up the canvas that I have. I'm going to warm it up in just a minute. It's very important to warm up your body, your tools, and also to warm up your mind. Now I think I'm ready. <laughs> Bien, vamos con la tercera y última parte de la frase de hoy, que es working out, hacer ejercicio. Ahora aquí tenemos el phrasal verb, el verbo compuesto to work out, que tiene muchos significados, pero en este concretamente quiere decir hacer ejercicio o ejercitar los músculos. Ahora, cuidado con la pronunciación de work, que no es work, sino work, work, con la cara larga, work. Y como no se separa work de loud en este contexto, lo enlazamos como si fuera una palabra. Workout. Workout. Vamos con algunos ejemplos. I prefer to work out in the evenings. Prefiero hacer ejercicio por las tardes. When you work out, what kind of workout do you do? Y aquí tenemos otra vez la palabra del día. Workout que viene de este phrasal verb, to work out, work out. Y un último ejemplo, you should stretch after working out. Muy bien, nos vemos en la siguiente clase. What a strange question. Lucía Madrid quiere saber cuánto tarda su ídolo Arnold Schwarzenegger en calentar antes de empezar a hacer ejercicio? What a weird question. How long does it take Arnold Schwarzenegger to warm up before he starts working out? That's a weird question, Lucia, but here I am to answer all of your questions. Let me see what the crystal ball has to say. And you at home, how long does it take you to warm up before you start working out? Hmm? Does it take you 10 minutes to warm up before you start working out? Hmm. Ah, let me see what I see. Lucia. Aha, I can see something. It says, Arnold Schwarzenegger takes 15 minutes to warm up before he starts working out. Interesting, eh, Lucia? Oh, wait, I can see more. I can see who he works out with. And I can see where he works out. Would you like to know more, Lucia? Well, call me Destiny. I have so much to tell you. <laughs>